Where was I sitting? Excuse me. Eat bullets, John! I guess you have to be a zombie to appreciate how good Flint is at killing him. The man's a consummate professional. Alright, which one of you undead creeps is gonna tell me where you got Sam and Max? It's what's left of zombie Abraham Lincoln's brain. Eat hot lead, Walking Dead! Oh great, they're back! Keep quiet and stand still. Maybe they won't notice us. Hey, look Max, it's vaguely ethereal versions of ourselves. Are they ghosts? No, probably just those soul things we keep hearing about. Well, what do you know? I do have one! Come to Papa! Yeah, I don't think so. Right. You guys run along and play. We'll be over here until our ride comes. I bet my lifetime subscription to the 40 and Times that that's an alchemy machine. Never die batteries. They're dead. No wonder zombies always slouch. Okay, fun's fun, but get back in here. I'm already tired of being a zombie. Well, perhaps you should have thought of that before you treated me so abominably. Maybe now we'll get the appreciation we deserve. Ann Coulter, a life. The Dorian Gray photo album. Blood types from A to Z. Ann Coulter, a life. Alchemy for Beginners. Jürgen made it up to Chapter 14, turning chocolate to gold. Oh, but build me a machine that turns gold nuggets to chicken nuggets, and we shall have power unlimited! Looks like Jürgen was building himself a playmate. Rooting is more fun when you do it with a pal. These diagrams are so scientific, I couldn't possibly make sense of them. Bringing light to this decaying lump of flesh, we mock death! We come as God, rewriting the very laws of the universe! It lives! Our creation lives! Happy... birthday! It's almost a... birthday? Ole! Well... Kinda suck the horror right out of it, huh? Hi, Gruesome. You're not Master Jürgen. Who are you? A mob of angry villagers. Are you here to destroy me? It's nothing personal, but we've got to look out for our property values. We're just kidding. We're your creators. Master Jürgen is my creator. Well, we pulled the switch. Yes, and I wish you hadn't. The sleep of unlife was preferable to the bitter pang of loneliness. What's your job around here? Do you kill stuff, or are you mostly decorative? Master Jürgen created me to prove his ultimate victory over life and death. Never thinking that he'd have to feed you and walk you every day. Typical. You don't like Jürgen, do you? Well, he did give me life, and tried to help me feel complete. With self-help books and weekend retreats? Yes, but mostly by experimenting with the items on the operating table. Your pal Jorgen turned us into zombies. What gives? I don't know the details. Uh, something about stealing souls and creating a zombie army. Why not an army of you monster guys instead? I'm a conscientious objector. 
Why so glum, chum? Do you have any idea what it's like being a misshapen freak? The only one of your kind? Nope! Uh -uh. It sucks. No one to confide in. No one to love. Mm, no one to smack you and tell you to get over yourself already? What's so bad about being a monster? Master Jurgen only built one. I am alone. You've got us! Please kill me. Hey, monster, what's the Italian word for an appetizer? Antipasto. Hey, monster, what do you call a ham and cheese sandwich that's been breaded and deep fried? Monte Cristo. Hey, monster. Wait, let me do one. What California coast city is home to Cal Poly University? Hmm. Coalinga? Yeah. Farewell. Want to play Dr. Max? For the last time, Sam, no! Oh, with the monster. Oh, sure. I can't wait to see him floss with that. Just do this a few million more times and I'm guaranteed re-election! Yes, that's much better. I'd operate at a much greater efficiency if you'd install Linux. I don't expect you to understand the reasons why, of course. Shut but... up. Yes, sir. Can we hurry this up, guys? I've got a dozen foreclosures to get caught up on today, and that's just the orphanages. Oh no, I've overslept! I'm late, I'm late! Listen, brothers. Can you not hear the song of the Earth Mother? Hiya, Gruesome. You're in luck, buddy. We've got the perfect bride for you. Master Jürgen promised the same thing. Long ago. But ours is ready to go, right out of the box! No assembly required! Sounds... intriguing. Let's go meet our friend Sebo. It's a frightfully long drive, isn't it? Are you sure you want to go now? Yes, let's go right now. Quickly, before Sam gets distracted and... Oh, more switches! Well, I never travel without my belongings. Just throw them in the trunk already. We're wasting daylight. Thanks for coming, gentlemen. I know it's difficult for you to travel, having to carry all your stuff with you. I'm used to it. Well, until I figure out how the Soul Mater works, I'm going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. I'll ask each of you three lucky bachelors a series of questions. Based on your answers, I'll decide which one of you advances to the final round of being my boyfriend. Ah! Zombies! I knew it! They've come for the knickknacks! Harry, please. I'll have to ask you to leave if you don't learn to show some tolerance. Here he is! They're going to break everything! And eat my brain! Nonsense! Sam and Max have just as much right to be here as anyone alive. Hmm, which question should I ask first? How do you think you're doing? It's difficult to say. I thought a hideous, misshapen creature such as myself would have no chance with a normal woman. But that was before I saw the competition. What do you think of Sybil? She does have a capricious spirit I find most enchanting. Okay, here's a tip. Don't say stuff like that during the interview. You're going to have to liven things up a bit to impress Sybil. I'm just the way Master Jürgen made me. Anything we can do to help? Remember, we're not too proud to cheat! No, no. She'll be impressed once she gets to know the real me. Good plan! Sam, you grab the chicken, and I'll start getting the other one involved in some kind of tabloid scandal. 
Let's head back to Stuttgart. Please don't make me get back into the trunk. Are you sure? No, let's stay here. Follow your heart. Easy for you to say. Good idea, Sam. I'll ask this one. Bachelor number one. My last boyfriend was a real jerk. I'm looking for a man who's kind, upstanding, good to everyone, and never cruel. Prove to me you've got a heart of gold. I love the spirit of all the Earth's creatures. From the tiny bean sprout to the mighty sequoia, the Tibetan... Yeah.